Greetings, YouTube. Alain and Leash back at you from right here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel, right here in the Grow Zone 8B in Tiffin, Georgia. Today is Sunday, November the 22nd, 2020. It's about 6 30 p.m. here, YouTube, well after dark. We're out here in our high tonal uh, greenhouse, YouTube. And in this evening's video, we're going to give you guys a quick, another uh, quick look at our rear grow table in our high tonal greenhouse. We're going to show you guys exactly what we have growing on on that grow table over there, YouTube, and how much progress everything has made. We're also going to be harvesting a handful of uh, wax beans in this video, also, YouTube. So hang tight. I'm going to flip this camera around uh, for you guys and show you what everything's looking like. And then we're going to go ahead and harvest those uh, wax beans, YouTube. Hang tight. All right, YouTube, again, here we are at our rear grow table and our high 20 foot by 10 foot uh, by 7 foot high tunnel greenhouse here, YouTube. Uh, we have about three rows of uh, containers here on this table. I'm going to give you guys a rundown on everything that we have on, on this uh, grow table here and show you exactly how much progress everything has made up to this point. And then we're going to go ahead and harvest those um, yellow wax beans. We have about a handful of uh, yellow wax beans from our yellow wax bean uh, grow experiment here in our high tunnel greenhouse and those containers back there on that uh, in that rear row. I'm going to go ahead and harvest those for you and show you what they look like as well, YouTube. Anyway, YouTube, here on our left end of our high tunnel uh, greenhouse on our rear um, grow table here, YouTube, we have one of the uh, propagated yellow sweet banana pepper plants that we took from our main yellow sweet banana pepper plant here about two and a half months ago youtube we showed you guys what it looked like in our last video it had um some nice um blossoms over in that last video it actually had a couple of uh decent sized peppers over in that last video now though we didn't bring you guys along for the harvest we actually harvested uh about three peppers from this uh, pe plant on yesterday and we gave them to a neighbor who really likes um yellow sweet banana peppers um as well youtube but this is what our first propagated yellow sweet banana pepper plant looks like at about two and a half months old youtube take a look at this bam can you guys see how well our plant is growing youtube it has several blossoms on it at this point it had one nice sized pepper there that we harvested yesterday and gave to a neighbor and another one over here on this end over here that we clipped off and gave to a neighbor uh yesterday youtube but it is indeed looking well uh pretty deep green um loaded with blossoms youtube we couldn't possibly be more excited um about the way it's um growing and producing for us here in our high frontal greenhouse next up to for that plant youtube we have one of our um cherry tomato plants um propagated cherry tomato plants we took um three cuttings from my brother's plant here in uh, Tifton, Georgia. Uh, roughly three weeks, maybe, uh, maybe roughly approaching a month ago, YouTube, and we planted them here in these containers. They were about this big when we um, actually planted them, YouTube, and this is what has happened here over about the past uh, 30 days here, YouTube, roughly. They're all looking well, all taking off, all um, looking good here for us, YouTube. These are, again, our cherry tomatoes, our propagated cherry tomato plants here, YouTube. Next to that, we have our lemon thyme plant that we um, originally had growing out at Sweet Baby Red in our front yard garden extended grow area. We've taken a total of about 10, maybe even a dozen cuttings from this plant, YouTube. Propagated those um, cuttings into um, actual lemon thyme plants. And we had a listing on our Etsy store for um, lemon thyme and it sold like gold or something, YouTube. This is a really hot, hot item in our Etsy store. And although we don't have any lemon thyme in our Etsy store for sale um, at this point, YouTube, we are currently propagating more of this lemon thyme. We will have, um, a, we are uh, relist this in our Etsy store here uh, within about another week, maybe a week and a half, YouTube. Next to our uh, lemon thyme, YouTube, we have one of the three avocado tree seeds that we um, planted in one gallon containers about 35 days ago, YouTube. This is our first seed, and as you can see, YouTube, Bam, that guy is splitting open YouTube and is ready to sprout an avocado tree here from this seed YouTube. And we're super excited about that YouTube. Next up is our second YouTube, our second yellow sweet, uh, our second propagated yellow sweet banana pepper plant that we took um, this cutting from um, again our 
original yellow sweet banana pepper plant that we had planted out at Sweet Baby Red during the spring and summer months YouTube. We prop we um prune this particular cutting a lot different than we uh prune this particular cutting to see which pruning method would provide more growth and more um peppers for us here in our high toner greenhouse during the fall and winter months YouTube and as you can see this plant bam produced a much more vigorously growing bushy and completely loaded with not only blossoms YouTube but yellow sweet banana peppers as well YouTube and you guys who've ever grown yellow sweet banana peppers and know these guys produce a lot of peppers under the right circumstances and the peppers develop at a geometric rate once they blossom uh, form on your uh, plant YouTube but next up YouTube behind that we have one of our moringa tree seedlings that we germinated from seeds here YouTube uh, roughly about 30 days ago no roughly about 35 days ago here and um, it's currently about 16 inches tall at this point YouTube we're gonna give you guys a quick look at it I'm gonna move it from uh, behind some of those other plants and bring it up here on our, our, our grow light and give you guys a quick look at it YouTube it's about 16 inches tall at this time a pretty deep green and doing fantastically well for us here in our high tunnel greenhouse YouTube next to that we have one of our three revegetated partially plants we had uh, one partially plant that we bought uh, mid-summer from one of our local um, garden supply stores here in Tipton Georgia it had one plant that actually split into three different plants YouTube and they were all uh, root bound together in the center of that uh, planter out there YouTube what we did was about two weeks ago we dug up that plant we separated it into three separate plants and up, up uh, potted those plants into each into one gallon containers we whacked them off YouTube down at soil level as you can see down there YouTube we whacked them off down at the soil level after we planted those into these spots and this is how much new growth our flat Italian parsley our revegetated flat Italian parsley has put on in approximately the past two weeks YouTube and we're super 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 excited about that next to that YouTube next to that we have our second of three avocado tree seedlings that we see that we planted um in one gallon containers youtube and i'm gonna bring this guy up close to the light for you guys give you guys a quick look at what this particular seed is doing youtube bam can you guys see that youtube can you guys see that about 35 days in youtube and this particular avocado tree seedling is indeed looking and growing well for us here and our high tunnel greenhouse and as you may notice i set this pot back down in here youtube the soil mixture in this pot and the soil mixture in this pot looks a lot different youtube and that's because that's due to, due to the fact that we planted our three avocado tree seeds in a sandy mixture youtube a very sandy mixture of uh potting uh soil and sand we use regular beach sand um and we uh, actually mix about a 70 to 30 uh ratio we have far more sand in this mixture than we actually do um potting soil youtube and that's because avocado trees actually like a sandy mixture of soil we actually prefer uh germinating our avocado tree seeds in soil as opposed to germinating them in water uh, because it completely reduces it complete uh, completely eliminates any risk of transplant shock there will be no transplanting you know the seed sprouts in the soil that it's going to grow in you know and there, there's no risk of any type of transplant shock and um we tend to have uh very good results doing our um avocado seeds uh, germinating our avocado seeds in this um method youtube but next up youtube next up indeed next up in the center of our grow table here youtube we're actually growing hodgin melons in a three gallon container we acquired these seeds from our good friend dave up at oak knob farm in new hampshire thanks dave they're looking fantastic my brother they're looking fantastic we planted a total dave of five of those hodgin melon uh seeds that you put uh sent us in this three gallon container uh dave approximately three of those five hodgin melons 
uh, seeds germinated. And this is you, uh, Dave, this is what they're looking like at about day 25. Take a look at this, Dave. Bam! Don't they look fantastic, Dave? I couldn't possibly be more pleased by the rate at which they're growing and the way they look here in this three gallon uh, container here, Dave. We're super excited about them. We've never ever grown, haven't even heard of um, Hodgkin Villains before you, Dave. And with, uh, we can't thank you enough for giving us the opportunity to grow something here in our gardens here in Tipton, Georgia that you've been successful at growing in your gardens up there in New Hampshire. Next up, YouTube, this is our third of three avocado tree seeds that we planted in a one gallon container here YouTube and as you can see there's no sign of germination yet but on another note YouTube we did plant this particular seed slightly deeper than we planted these two seeds because we didn't know which germination uh, method would work best for us YouTube as you can see we planted this one at soil level we planted this one slightly below the soil and this one is com buried completely below the soil and that's probably the reason why we haven't seen any signs of um, seed germination yet in this particular avocado tree seed, uh, YouTube. Next up, this is our second of three flat, partially uh, uh, revegetated uh, flat, partially uh, plants here, YouTube, as you can see. We wrecked this guy off down at soil level also after um, planting it, it in this uh, one gallon container, YouTube. It's been about a two week span since we up potted this particular partially planted into this, this pot as well, YouTube, and it is indeed looking well at about day 14 here on this end youtube we have the second of our two moringa trees that we're currently growing in one gallon containers again we germinated these from uh seeds youtube and this guy's about the same height as our other one on the other end of the table down there youtube is about 16 inches tall at this point pretty deep green as you guys know who's grown moringa before Moringa grows at a geometric rate. You really have to keep up with Moringa or it'll really um, outgrow you as faster than you think it will, YouTube. Uh, next up, YouTube, next up is our third row of plants here. And this is where we have our two pots of um, yellow wax beans planted. We have our four revegetated eggplants from um, our Bumblebee Junction planters out in our Fertile Garden Extended Grow area. We have another pot of um, yellow wax beans on the other end down there, YouTube. It's about day 30, maybe day 32 for our yellow wax beans here, YouTube. And bam, can you guys see all of those beans on these plants, YouTube? There's so many beans on these plants that our plants have completely laid down across our other plants here and our planter, YouTube. And that's why we're going to be out here this um, evening. Well, tonight out here harvesting yellow wax beans at night in our high tunnel greenhouse YouTube. Next up, we have one of our revegetated eggplants from our Bumblebee Junction planters out in our French Art Garden Extended Grow Area YouTube. And can you guys see those blossoms YouTube? Our eggplants are loaded with blossoms YouTube. Our eggplants are loaded with blossoms. These are indeed again our revegetated eggplants from our bumblebee junction planters out there in our front yard garden extended grow area youtube i'm gonna pick up one of these pots right now and show you guys that we did indeed you guys see that little stump right there on the right hand side there youtube whack our eggplants all the way off to the soil level here about a good month ago youtube everything you see up this way is new growth and again at about day 30 or so youtube our eggplants are all in blossom that's our first plant there that's our second one there that's our third one here youtube and this is our fourth one here on this side and they were all loaded with blossoms youtube last but not least this is our second pot of yellow wax beans youtube in the same scenario as the wax beans on the other end of this uh table here youtube they're so loaded <laughs> with beans that they were falling over the other plants here and our, uh, on, our, on our grow table here YouTube and that's the reason we're out here tonight about to harvest these yellow wax beans in our greenhouse you guys see all of those beans it's only about a handful I'm calling it all of those beans like it's a huge harvest or something YouTube it's only about a handful but indeed it is a handful that we do need to take off of these plants tonight YouTube so um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get our tripod set up, get this camera in place, 
uh, get it aimed over here at these yellow wax beans. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I take these yellow wax beans off of these plants, YouTube. Hang tight. All right, YouTube, we're back. We got our tripod set up here. I'm gonna grab my scissors and this little um, small bowl here, YouTube, with a small container here, YouTube. I'm gonna get over in here and um, take these wax beans off of this plant, YouTube, and show you what they look like as I um, take them off here, YouTube. Yeah, guys see that YouTube? Some nice looking yellow wax beans. Again, it's um, around day 30 um, for these uh, yellow wax beans YouTube. And they've brought to some pretty um, good sizes here for us. And again, this was a, a grow experiment that you guys who've been following this video series uh, know this was actually a grow experiment for us. We was actually trying to see if it was possible not only for us to grow yellow wax bean plants here in our high tunnel greenhouse at this time of year, but um, also to see if we could actually grow them to maturity and have them produce uh, beans for us, YouTube. And I didn't know we, we can be successful at growing our yellow wax beans in our high tunnel this, at this time of year in containers. We're gonna plant about six to eight more containers of these um, yellow wax beans, YouTube. And hopefully we'll have a, um, our aim is to get a continuous harvest of these uh, yellow wax beans during the uh, fall and winter months here YouTube these are some very tasty beans we will crowd these be uh, beans uh, these seeds from our dear friends Mark and Tina up at Bumblebee Junction in Eastern Tennessee thanks Mark and Tina these seeds are actually a product of uh, Johnny's selected seeds up in Winslow Maine uh, they actually sent us a uh, packet of um, a seed packet uh, last grow season to get our uh, jump uh, our grow season uh, off to a good jump start here YouTube and we couldn't be more thankful to Mark and Tina for reaching out to us and sending us these seeds I highly recommend um, Johnny selected uh, seeds YouTube their seeds have a tremendous uh, germination rate everything that we've planted from Johnny selected seeds has had about a 96 97 percent germination rate YouTube and we call that a fantastic germination rate any day in any book YouTube you guys see that? Some nice size and nice looking yellow wax beans, YouTube. And again, it's only about a handful. But again, this was a grow experiment for us, YouTube, to see if we could actually grow these in our high tunnel. And if we could grow them, could we grow them to full maturity and have them produ produce um, beans for us here, YouTube? And as you can see, they've done quite well. So again, we will indeed be planting six to eight more one gallon containers of these yellow wax beans within the next uh, week here, YouTube. And again, our, our, our goal is to uh, have a continuous harvest of these yellow uh, wax beans throughout the uh, fall and winter months here, YouTube. Um, again, this is about day 30 or so, so and we do have uh, several more, we have at least two more crops of beans on these uh, plants at this point, YouTube. We have some medium sized uh, beans and we have some smaller uh, beans on our plants. So we know we, we would get at least two more harvests from these uh, plants here, YouTube. And hopefully by that time, the yellow wax bean plants that we plant in, uh, that we um, plant in those um, extra six to eight containers will be coming into blossom by that time. And we have a con again a continuous harvest of yellow uh, wax beans here and we can continue to um succession plant yellow wax beans throughout the fall and winter months here youtube um around uh, every two to three weeks is what i would recommend if you're going to succession crop so i mean succession uh plant uh your yellow wax beans because again it takes about 30 days uh to reach your first uh harvest so I think we would definitely be planting them um, roughly every three weeks or so here you, in our um, high tunnel uh, greenhouse here during the rest of the uh, fall and uh, winter months here. You. Again, some nice, nice, nice yellow wax beans at about day 30. Here in our high tunnel greenhouse. So we call this experiment a success, YouTube. We do indeed call this a success. 
now that we know we can be successful in growing these again we will be planting several more containers of yellow wax beans here in our high tunnel greenhouse at any rate youtube thanks for watching this video and if indeed you have been watching this video on our rear grow table in our high tunnel greenhouse and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumb Garden channel, please indeed take this moment to press that subscribe button beneath this video, that like button, that notification button, and be sure, YouTube, be sure, be sure, be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Yeah. Harvesting a handful of yellow wax beans in our high total greenhouse. Thanks for watching. I'm unleashed, rap king of the streets, ripping up another beat, and I still don't play. Still don't play. I flow smooth in my lyrics on time. Yeah. On time. All my haters in the crowd, they some loud, but I leave them all quiet when I see what's on my mind. I ain't fell off, I won't stop. I won't stop. I a dip on the corner of the top until my very last breath. I'm gonna give it all I got. Give it all I got. Red ass, they can play tight, play tight. Won't stop until it's that I'm pushing down in Cali, that's a mission in the belly, and I'm feeling all feeling right. All right. I'm elevated, I'm a product of the sun, of the sun. Top status, I'm a flowing apparatus, got my haters talking chatter, but I still get it done. Get it done. Everywhere I go, I still see pros. Still see pros. On the beat, see I'm walking down the street, high heels on their feet, almost wearing no clothes. Wearing no clothes. I'm making money, selling records over singles overseas. All in Ghana, I be smoking marijuana, you can find me down under, even in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Like I lay, I'm a lion, I'm the greatest. I'm great. Top notch, I can see outside the box, I'm making haters stop and watch because they know that I done made it. I done made it. Looking for me, you can find me in my life. I stand tall, but I keep my circle small. Don't let them lawyers get involved when they profit off my name. Off my name. I'm full grown, I'm a lion in my prime. I'm a prime. Trick my design, I mean, the way I spit around, I'm about to make that hit a feeling like I did the last time. The last time. Deep breath, and I'm gonna drop another drop verse. verse. No competition, but this lion on a mission. If you want it, come and get it. I'm gonna get you in her. You need a minute, let my word marinate. It's been a minute, I didn't mean to make you wait. I'm about to rip it straight to spreads, and I ain't gonna hesitate. hesitate.